be yourself. You got this. You must be. I actually haven't been classified yet. Of course, silly me. I'll just call you new then, shall I? Okay. Welcome, come on. Uh, as you can see, this is the office and who you'll be sharing it with. And I know it's a bit unconventional to invite you to a party mixer before your first day. But we don't get to talk to one another very much during the day. And under the circumstances where we're going to be spending centuries together, I think it's best that we get to know each other in a relaxed and casual atmosphere, don't you think? OK, let me give you a quick rundown on the usual suspects and who's who. So where do we start? Oh, me, of course. As you know, I'm Sunny and I'm the office manager. And then we have Mercury. He's my right-hand man. Merc works at the desk beside me. He's a really lovely guy. Can be a bit extreme at times, you know, a little bit hot and cold. Oh, look, there he is talking to Venus, just for a change. Seriously, these two, I tell you, can't work together, can't work without each other. I mean, make up your mind, am I right? Well, <laughs> Merc finds her a bit intoxicating, but if you ask me, I think she's a bit... Just watch that one if you know what I mean. But you didn't hear it from me. Oh, she's really nice. She's a great worker. Um, who's that? That's Earth. Every system has one, don't you think? I mean, how do I put this? He's a bit of a joke. Okay, he's a big jerk. And the other one that just left was Luna. We don't get on. Actually, we can't stand being in the same room together. <laughs> but she works nights. But typically, she was over by the feet table. Her weight fluctuates like crazy. One minute, she's as big as a balloon, and the next minute, she's barely a crescent. Oh, really? Look, I've just got to sort this out. I'm going to just take you over to introduce you to Mars and Saturn. You'll really like them. Hi guys, this is the latest addition to our system. Make her feel welcome while I go and deal with this. Son of a... It's nice to meet you both. Seriously, I don't know why Sun doesn't just fire his ass. Oh, I think old Sun's working on it. She's turning up the heat slowly but surely. And you know how she feels about red wine spilling. You know he's just gonna wanna crash at mine and talk about the old days while he goes through all my natural resources. After going through all his own, of course. Such a user. Pity, he used to be such a nice guy. Yeah, like a billion years ago. People change. I'm gonna go drain the lizard. Ew. The ladies want a drink? Oh, please. Oh, you charming, you. Watch out for this one, sugar. He's trouble. And shame on you, Jay. You know I'm a taken woman. Now. And two rings, I see. Yeah, you couldn't choose one, so we got you both. Oh, they're beautiful. Thanks, sugar. I didn't get your name. I'm actually new and I haven't been classified. Sorry, Shida, I've got a band. What was... Ah, oh, Uranus and Sat used to have a thing together. No one really knows what happened, but apparently one day, Saturn was with this new asteroid called Ceres, and Uranus had that weird tilt that you see now. Poor guy. He comes across a bit gruff, but he's actually a pretty decent fellow. A tilt? Shh. Hey, man. Hey, buddy, how are you? So, uh... Sat talking you off about the new guy again. Bloody asteroids. Man, I don't, I don't want to get involved in it. It's all right. I mean, I know it's weird, but, you know. Really? Really, P? We talked about this. Speaking of weird. Oh, that's Pluto. Now, Pluto used to work with us before he got demoted. I think Sun feels bad that he's not included anymore. It's tricky, this office system. One day you're a part of it, and the next, some know-it-all decides that you're a dwarf planet. About an it. Or even worse, an asteroid. Is he a dwarf planet? Oh no, that, that wasn't what I was gonna ask. Um but I, I believe the politically correct term is little planet. Oh, either way. Just don't mention it around him unless you want to see a man planet in tears. <laughs> Everything's all fine and dandy until planets collide and then all you're left with is right angles to your orbit. I'm getting a beer. Bloody asteroids! Looks like Earth's at it again. What did he say about me? Yep. Seriously, I don't know why Sunny puts up with it. He is totally gross. You know she'll devour him sooner or later. Devour him? 
You can't tell that she's like a total planet eater. Look at the size of her. She is one huge. I mean, it was an accident. It's not like we collided with him on purpose, for galaxy's sake. It's, it's not my fault. He has that god-awful tilt. He has absolutely no consideration for others. I mean, he just ruins everything. It sure does cause a lot of grief for such a small planet in the scheme of things. It's a little chilly, don't you think? Oh, you're always cold. Why don't you put on another layer? Everybody else is fine. You're such a tyrant with the heating. Rude, right? I think that Earth's about to wear out his world. You think? Oh, hell no. I gotta say this. Our sun is, my dearest. You're shining brightly this evening. Save it, Earth. I've had just about enough of your cavalier attitude. This is my system. Oh, your system. Your rules. Me, me, me. It's not like everything revolves around you, you know? It kind of does, actually. Buddy, wait, what? Why don't I take you home, eh? What? This party's just getting st More beer! Oh, I think you've had enough. I think you've had enough. <laughs> really mature. Really mature. Fine! Do what you want! Now look what you've done. So hot and cold. So hot and cold. So what have I missed? Yeah, the usual. That's been complete knob and son's about to lose it. You know what, I'm going to bail. It's frequent phrasing in here anyway. Yeah, me too. But this feels weird to hear. I don't like it. So, do you guys enjoy working here? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's got its good points, you know, like the, the Friday Ivo drinks and it's bad. So is everyone having fun? That woman is a real pain in my... So how do you feel about joining the group? Hey, they're a lovely team when you get to know them. Except for Luna, of course. Um... Oh, don't worry about him. He won't be around for long. He thinks he's invincible, but he'll have his due. Joe, I feel sorry for him, but he has no idea how numbered his days are. Is he on my desk? Seriously? I'm gonna kick his blue and green. 